All right, I got my calculator out. Found my scientific calculator and we have 2.27 moles of propane times five. And it does equal, I was right the first time, should have trusted myself, 11.35 moles of oxygen. Now we need to go from moles to mass. So we still got one more step, but take a look at this tool right here. Moles to mass, all we have to do is multiply by our molar mass of oxygen. So our last step, we got 11.35 moles of oxygen and we just have to multiply by our molar mass. So let's take a look at what that is. 32 grams per mole. And throw that in the calculator, 11.35 times 32. Our answer will be 363. 0.2 grams of oxygen. So that is our answer. So these are three step problems. I do take a little bit longer. Let's take a look at number nine. And in these questions, we're always starting with 100 grams of propane all these questions. So same thing, if we start with 100 grams of propane, what's the mass of the carbon dioxide that we're gonna make? So again, we're starting with our 100 grams of propane. Our first step is to go from grams of propane to moles. So we just divide by our molar mass and this is exactly like that last problem. So we'll get that same answer. So our molar mass is 44.11. And just like last time we get two point two seven moles of propane. So this is where we go moles to moles. So when we're going moles to moles, flip it over. We put the coefficient of what we want on top. So we want the coefficient of carbon dioxide and we're moving from propane, so one on the bottom. So this would be 2.27 times three, and that would equal about 6.81 moles, so we're not there yet, moles of carbon dioxide. So we still have a ways to go. We still have to, to find our mass. So we're right here now. We got our moles of carbon dioxide. We gotta find our mass of carbon dioxide. So let's do that last step. Multiply by our molar mass. And in this case, we have to make sure we multiply not by the molar mass of propane, by the molar mass of carbon dioxide, because that's what we're in right now. So let's bring it all down here. 6.81 moles carbon dioxide times 44.01 grams per mole. Let's see what that equals. 6.81 times 44.01 and our answer is gonna be about 
299.7 grams carbon dioxide. What that means is that whenever you burn 100 grams of propane, what you get is 299.7 grams of carbon dioxide. All right, so got that one done. Here's our answer. Made that all the way to mass. And we got one more question kind of like this, starting in the same spot here. So if you start with 100 grams of propane, what's the mass of water that's produced? All right, so now we're going to figure out how much water we're producing. Again, we need to go from mass to moles of propane moles of propane to moles of water, and then we can convert to mass of water because mass of water is what we're trying to end with. So we start with 100 grams of propane, and we've done this multiple times now. To get moles of propane, what do we gotta do? Divide by molar mass here. So divide by 44.1 one grams per mole and we get 2.27 moles of propane. So from here we got our moles. Now we can do our mole conversion using the coefficients up here. So remember, we just multiply, put the coefficient of what we want to get on the top four for water. Put the coefficient of we start with on the bottom, one propane. And do that math real quick. 2.27 times four. We get 9.08 moles of water. So we're not done yet. We are not done. We're at moles of water now. We need to hit mass of water. So again, last step, flip this over. We need to multiply by the molar mass of water. So it's very important that you don't just multiply by any molar mass or the molar mass of propane in this case. We are multiplying by the molar mass of water, 18.02. So here we go, let's figure this out. 9.08 moles of water times 18.02 grams per mole. That's gonna tell us how much grams of water we got. So times 18.02, we got 163.6 grams of water. So for every 100 grams of propane I burn, it's gonna produce 163.6 grams of water. So question number 11 is all about conservation of mass. So let me flip this paper over so we could use this, we could recycle it. We wanna make sure our mass beforehand, our mass of our propane and our oxygen, it should equal the mass of our carbon dioxide and our water. So let's check, let's test this out. So we, we always started with 100 grams of propane. When we solved for our oxygen, we had 362 grams of oxygen, 0 0.2, there's 363, sorry, it's 363.2 grams of oxygen. That should equal the mass of carbon dioxide and, and water put together. So let's take a look. Carbon dioxide was 299.7 grams. And the water, which is what we just did,
163.6. All right, so let's see. They might be off just because of rounding, but let's see how, how close they are. So 100 plus 363.2, that would be 463.2 grams of our reactants. And on this side, we got 299.7 plus 163.6, 400. 63.3 grams of our product. So yes, they are 0.1 off, but that's probably because of a rounding here that, or a round, a round that we made somewhere. All right, so we will continue to practice questions like this. I do understand these three step problems do take a, a lot of practice to get down and get, get down well, but we should at least be starting to get our mole to mole conversion.